Hi guys, I'm Nishita and you're watching Geeks for Geeks, your one-stop solution for all coding related problems. And today we're going to talk about Python, a general overview, the field it dominates in and a roadmap for the same. Python is known as a general purpose programming language because it can be used for so many purposes. Now let's start with comparing a code written in C++ to that written in Python. And here please note that PIP is the primary medium for development in Python. Another reason why it's really difficult to ignore PIP is say if you want to dive into deep learning, there's so many excellent tools for the same in Python. That's how the community of Python has grown stronger over the years. This is how its community has become even stronger. So say if you want to enter fields like machine learning, data science, data analytics or AI, Python will definitely give you that advantage. But it can also be used for some automation tasks. While Python is in the top choice in DSA because of the lack of good resources and also in mobile development because of better frameworks present for the same. However, when we talk about machine learning models, Python plays an important role allowing you to internally modify the ML algorithms. To give an example, the actual machine learning methods are actually written in the C library, but externally, Python code is used to interact with them. The performance of a model hence relies on those internal languages like C, but even with this limitation, Python remains extremely popular. That's because not just developers, but mathematicians, researchers, scientists also working in the ML field use Python. In conclusion, for majority of the machine learning tasks, Python is the most used language. That's why it has such a strong community over the years. So if you're looking at the 2025 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, we can see that most people from non-tech background who choose to venture into tech often start with Python. And according to the survey, uh, the median salary of a Python professional is 78,000 USD. So this is, if we adjust this to the purchasing power parity in India, this is somewhere around 17 LPA. Now this is to be noted that this is a median salary across all age levels and all experiences. This is not a fresher salary. So let's just summarize what we've discussed so far before we move on to the roadmap for the same. Uh, Python does have several disadvantages. There are many languages that have several more benefits as compared to Python, which makes Python not the sole language around all the frameworks or not the sole language around all the fields, which is very honestly an impossible scenario for any language since they were designed for very different purposes. Even if you look at the developing world, we can see that JavaScript is the most popular technology because it gives a lot of runtime environments, a lot of frameworks, a lot of libraries for both front-end and back-end developers. That's why JavaScript is way more preferred than Python when it comes to development and it's really hard to imagine Python overtaking JavaScript in that aspect. So basically the possibility that Python is going to dominate the entire world of scripting is pretty impossible and hard to imagine. But still the reason Python is so versatile and so flexible is because it's used in a lot of tech domains. And when we say a lot of tech domains, we're talking about a considerable percentage, not a small one. But if I had to analyze the trends, in coming decade, the reason of Python's popularity is definitely going to be the rise in AI. There are many AI startups, everybody is dependent on AI for a lot of things now. And a lot of jobs have been taken and created because of the same and all of them require Python. So when we talk about Python's strong community, because it's used in both AI and ML, that's definitely going to be the main reason of boosting popularity of the same in the coming decade. So the main question that we come to is, as a student or a fresher, should you be learning Python today? Uh, so the reality of the situation is, while uh, AIML internships might be paying way more, the jobs might be paying way more, the quantity still lies towards development. Uh, which means, obviously, the basics being that the job requirement should basically match your skill set and then only you can crack it. An ideal roadmap or a path to go around it if you're a student or a fresher would be in your first two years, you must focus on DSA, which is CPP, and uh, preferably in CPP, you can go about it in any other language that you prefer, and uh, development. Once you get a good grasp on both development and DSA, then you can move on to AIML in your third and fourth year. Now, this is the time you can actually venture into it, learn it and get hands-on experience through various internships too. And that is an ideal roadmap where you would be both placement ready for multiple jobs and for multiple fields. For developers and working professionals who are wondering if Python is a good option, the answer is yes. It's one of the most popular choices for your side projects, especially in AIML, which will give you a major, major edge over everybody else. I hope all the points we discussed today contribute to your tech journey. And if you have any questions related to Python or AIML, drop them in the comments below and we'll try and answer all of them. All the best for your tech journey. Keep hustling, keep working, and I will see you later.